What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. I want to thank my sponsor, Steel Supplements. Link and discount code down in the description. You also know I'm a Weeble Preferred, but what's her best promotion in the pinned comment? All you need to do, go click the link, open an account, agree to the terms and conditions. They are going to give you free stock. And I got to say, some positives in this gameplay. And I wish when we look back, EA could have built on this. When you think about, in my opinion, 2K8, 2K5, it was building off solid gameplay, creating a base, an expectation, a consistent gameplay experience, and then adding to that. EA has tried to add X Factor, Superstars, all these things, but they've never really had a consistent base. And they're almost trying to build the game backwards at this point. So I want you to take a look at this play. We're going to focus on a number of different things. But overall, there's issues here that Madness had that seem to be addressed. The challenge, though, is they're addressed only in animations. So we don't know how consistent this gameplay experience is going to be. The first thing that I want to talk about is the safety here. Because the safety is going to drop down. And this is going to create a read for the user where he understands the receiver on the left hand side in the slot is going to really not in the slot but you understand he's going to have man coverage now to me when you look at the separation that starts here it's important that you understand that only so much ground can be made up by the computer and i think it's apparent that the user immediately knows that there's a problem here because he takes control of the safety pulls him back and then starts to run over and cover. This is what you want to see from a football standpoint, right? Someone that understands how to read what's happening can react to it and have an impact on the play. I like this. Th this shows me, at least to a certain extent, X's and O's can matter in Madden because clearly the cornerback here is 100% beat and you have to get someone over there right away. Now, I would like to see a little bit more adaptive AI when the ball is thrown. We talked about it before reactions from other players, not just the standing in the back of the end zone, which we'll get to in a moment. But when you look at how this play kind of comes to fruition, it's clear that the user understands, hey, I have to get over here and try to manually cover, even though I'm now trailing. I also want you to understand the double team tackle here. And this has been a huge struggle with Madden. Double team tackles have been an issue where they break down first. Two players should be able to easily overpower one, but that wasn't always the case. And again, consistency is going to be key here in this game, whether that holds true. You finally have a lineman lose containment. You have a pass that, to me, comes in way over, way to the left-hand side. And I'm actually surprised the game allowed the defensive back to recover, especially when they talk about all the precision passing this year. It seems to me like this is a situation where you should have really been leading into the end zone, maybe, and I think you would have been okay. That's where we start to have that conversation about the safety that's kind of standing in the back of the end zone. But regardless, you kind of have a, a full sellout, an undercut, and a high throw that was swatted away. But to me, I think a high throw in this almost goes back to the issues we've experienced when you talk about EA trying to get fade routes proper. If you're doing a high throw, I would personally like to see the ball either go out of the end zone and not get caught rather than be deflected because truthfully, that's what a quarterback is trying to do. They're trying to get a ball over the defense to where only the receiver can catch it. And to be frank, if the receiver can't catch it, it needs to be just simply still in the air, not at this kind of odd trajectory. You've got a quarterback here that's got a strong enough arm to make those things happen. The question is, why don't they on a consistent basis? To me, when I think of the reasons that I find Madden is not enjoyable, plays like this not being replicated is one of them. It's not about disliking Madden, disliking EA. It's about appreciating football. It's about wanting simulation sports in a game. That's why I love MLB The Show so much. Yes, it does things wrong too, but there's a consistency there. Once you play the game, you become familiar with it, and your expectations are pretty easily met by the game. You don't really have anything cattywampus that happens every third play. With Madden, we've seen 
all the time. And I understand as this game releases in a couple weeks, you're going to have the sample size really, really explode. And when that happens, you'll have players that may have things happen to you that won't ever happen to someone else. And then, of course, you know, have somebody like me that'll feature that on my channel, get a couple hundred thousand views, and the next thing you know, the game is awful. However, what I would say to that is, if there was a base of quality gameplay, if there was the ability for us to go back and talk about X's and O's, fundamental football being respected, it wouldn't matter the one-off play. If you go back and watch, all pro football 2K8 has tons of one-off issues. NFL 2K5 has tons of one-off issues. There's always going to be, and I hate to label it the glitch, there's always going to be, and I hate to label it the bug that happens, but you don't see those games being overwhelmed in terms of showcasing them. You see the ability for people to go play full games and not have these atrocious issues. You can, in many cases with all pro football, watch a video game that looks and has the fluidity and the reactions of real life football. When you play Madden, it doesn't play like football. Because when you watch Madden, it doesn't look like football. That to me has been one of the largest hurdles that EA has had to overcome. As they continue to put in all these animations, as they continue to layer all these things on like I talked about in the beginning, one thing they've really gotten away from is just what does the game look like? You know, if you're at a practice, if you're at a game, you can watch whether a player knows how to play or not. You can visually see, you don't need to be a scout, you don't need to be a coach, you don't need to be a coordinator. A lot of times it's just the eye test. And for me, Madden has failed the eye test for so long. And a lot of it is the game trying to do too much. In some cases, we talk about DDA, the game overpowering at times. I wish that last year we could have seen EA really step away from that and focus on giving us that consistent base gameplay. That is what I expected when they said all the bugs are going to be out. We're going to have the most polished version ever. To me, polish means consistent. To me, polish means dependable. It doesn't mean what this game has constantly shown us it's incapable of doing. And I think that's why when you look at gameplay, even with what they've released, you don't have to watch for a couple plays and see just massive issues that, that leave you scratching your head saying, why would a player do that? And I know past couple of videos, people have been critical of the comments I've made, but that's the great thing about football. We can all have a different perspective. We can all have a different concept of the way a player should react. But at the end of the day, a lot of times, I think when you look at Madden, you don't see those quality of reactions. You don't see a lifelike environment. And ultimately, you get a game that plays and looks very much as it is solely dependent on animations that oftentimes just don't branch out the way they should. And when you have that happen, you don't have user control. There was a lot good in this play. A lot good in this play. That's why I wanted to take a couple minutes to share it with you. But it's not about a couple things good in a play. It's about 95% good in a game. And that's where we need to be with Madden. Whether we will be this year remains to be seen. Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching it. You know, when I can actually talk about good and bad Madden plays, how could I not be back in the week with more commentary?